I feel like it's our first date. Like, <laughs> I ain't been on here in a minute. Hey, you guys, it's Tori, also known as Love Miss Liz, and I am back with another video. So it is officially January 3rd, 2023. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's officially been like a year and a half since I quit my job. And I haven't even given y'all an update. Like, BFFR. What I got going on? <laughs> In order to give you guys this update, I decided to come to you from my official self-tape space to help set the tone of what your girl doing. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, let's get straight into it. If you're new here, about a year and a half ago, July 30th, 2021, I actually stopped working at my nine to five job. And I did this without a plan. So this took a lot of prayer. It took a lot of thought. It took a lot of everything in me to walk away from that job. But between the work environment, the work I was doing, and just feeling like God was kind of pushing me in another direction, I knew that it was time. So I took the leap and I am so glad that I I did. Shortly after quitting my job and turning down another job that was paying like 10,000 more to do the same thing, I needed a break from work. I needed a break to see what it is that made my heart flutter and made me feel good to do. And it worked out. So after I quit my job, I did not have a plan. I told myself I was going to give myself like three months or so to figure out what I wanted to do, what was next, and just kind of like live. I had my savings up to a certain point and I felt like I was good. One of the things that I turned to was acting because acting has always been something that I really wanted to do, but just felt like, oh, it's too far. It's too much to do while I'm working a full-time job, so on and so forth. And I was like, it's my time to shine, baby. Let me go ahead and start submitting tapes again. And I whatever the case may be. I submitted some tapes and within two weeks, I had a role offer for a lead in a pilot series. Now this is a small series. It wasn't a big budget or anything, but it was a lead role. I was offered it and essentially I quit my job on July 30th and by August 26th, I was being flown to Chicago to start recording. From that point forward, I added that gig to my resume and I started booking a lot more gigs. I booked three series, two short films, two plays, two commercial gigs. I've booked two Fatal Attraction episodes and I feel like I could be missing something else because I just remembered about the Fatal Attraction episodes. But long story short, I've been booking more than I've ever booked and I've been submitting tapes since college. Mind you, consistently, no, I was not submitting consistently, but I had been submitting since college and I hadn't really been getting that many roles clearly. I landed the vagina monologues a few times but that was it. So acting fortunately has been something that's been going on consistently and I've been booking. I currently have an audition coming up. I have a self-tape that I need to do and it is a trying field but it's very fulfilling and I have so much fun on set. I really do hope to share that journey with you guys a little bit more in depth this year and just how it's going. So God willing your girl gonna be booking some more stuff and I can take you along the journey for some of it at least. So expectation versus reality of me quitting my job. Now despite me landing these gigs <laughs> you have to keep in mind that it's been about a year and a half. So there have been very slow moments, there have been very busy moments but that is what my life feels like now. It's either go 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 or two months of absolutely positively nothing and to overcome and deal with that and you know get past the the desire of wanting consistent secure income is difficult it's very difficult there's times where I'm looking at job ads like oh I should just go ahead and but the minute the minute I do that is the minute that it's like you got requested to work this gig that you really really want but now you got to go to work so it's been a struggle because people glamorize entrepreneurship they glamorize the freedom of non nine to five employment but there are also things that you have to overcome and I'm still in the overcoming stages of being an unemployed contract worker of sorts additionally when I first stopped working. I made the best use of my time. I was still very much on a tight schedule and my body wanted to still work like nine to five. So I was still waking up early, getting stuff done and like staying in a good routine. Once I started acting and doing other contract work, my schedule got so thrown off that it did become difficult for me to get back on an organized schedule, which is something that I'm really trying hard to do this year. I want to make sure that I'm actually staying focused, staying organized, 
organized, staying on top of my priorities and not letting days just slip away because we have so much time, but baby, it's how you use it. So you have so much time when you're unemployed, especially if you're doing different little gigs here and there. It's like the windows where they're open, you gotta still, you know, focus and push through and produce something in some way to show God that you are serious about what he wants for you. So yeah, there are days where I'm like, oh God, what's happening? But when I tell you, I've had the most full circle moments doing this in such a short period of time. So literally right before my year anniversary of quitting my job, I booked a commercial gig with Walmart and I was on set for three days. I was the only talent. I was was spending my day shooting and it was literally for like baby strollers or something but when I tell you the gig paid the gig paid well all right and everybody was so nice so friendly so accommodating but one of the production managers was actually one of the leads on like a television show a kid's show that I used to watch growing up and it's like little things like that so before I even knew that I would be looking around just thinking like oh my gosh I really changed my life and the hard part is it not being consistent but the actual absolutely mesmerizing, fun, thrilling part of it is looking up and seeing what you created. So going from one situation to another situation that you felt like was so far, but was really right there all along and you just had to go looking for it. Such a full circle moment, feeling so grateful and so appreciative that I get to experience that and that I took the leap that I needed to, to take in order to get to that point. So there are low moments, but there are high moments and I have so so much gratitude for the things that I've seen and for the things that I've accomplished in this time to show me what I'm capable of if I put my mind to it, if I stay consistent, if I believe in myself, if I have a high vibration and show up, I will get what I deserve. That's amazing to see. What are my current sources of income? How am I surviving? Obviously my acting gigs, all of those but one were paid. So some of them paid as much as a thousand dollars a day, whereas some of them paid as little as thirty dollars a day and I'm appreciative of all of them but those are a source of income so acting gigs modeling gigs all of that source of income my other source of income one super consistent source has been social media management I do social media management for my sister's law firm get content and things of that nature then other things that I've been doing have been almost assistant type work my other sister she owns a math tutoring company called super easy math and they post YouTube videos as well as do private and group tutoring sessions so for a little while I was working for her and then I started doing her accounting for her and I also do other little assistant work for different companies so right now I'm working for a boutique and we're actually planning a fashion show so that's fun as well as I've done social media management for a few other companies since I quit my job as well just a matter of whether or not they're consistent sources of income or not which is why I don't really want to include it so acting social media management and essentially being an assistant have been three sources of income come for me as well as showroom modeling. Really, I would probably call it being a showroom ambassador. So I've been working with a specific brand at different trade shows for fashion. These are wholesale stores that sell to boutiques and things of that nature in the Atlanta, Vegas, New York, Miami, and Nashville area. I work these trade shows. There's like five in Atlanta every year. And then there's like five dispersed in other cities throughout the year as well. And that is a source of income. So so I work with the same company over and over again and see what I'm doing. That is a gig that typically people are looking for salespeople for their boutiques and for their showrooms. So there are a lot of models that do it. And typically you call it showroom modeling, but I wouldn't call it showroom modeling. So I just say working at a trade show or showroom. And for those of you who don't know, I do own a home and I rent one of the rooms out. 2021 to mid 2022, I was renting my room out and I'm actually starting the process of beginning to to prepare it to rent it out again. So that is also a source of income for me. So that is essentially acting, social media management, virtual assistant, trade shows slash showrooms, and rental income. Five sources of income that I have throughout the year and that are keeping me fed and this roof over my head, okay? Do I have any regrets after quitting my job? Personally, I do not have any regrets after quitting my job. And I feel like people who do quit their job, that's gonna differ, obviously. My job, I will probably get into this in another video of what happened, but it was time for me to go. Like I was trying to stay at my job because I felt like that was the right thing to do. But there were things that just 
kept happening that was like, you're not supposed to be here. I'd pray about it, hope things got better, it'd be okay for four days. And then on the fifth day, I would be ready to quit all over again. And these aren't minor infractions. Some of these are things that are actually pretty serious and you shouldn't deal with in a workplace. But that was something that I had to get over and knowing that I can walk away from things that aren't serving me or fulfilling me and find better for myself. And that thought and that idea spreads far across the board. That is not just as it pertains to employment, that could pertain to romantic relationships, friendships, job opportunities, gigs, everything. If it does not serve you, you can walk away and what is for you will be for you and no one can stop that. Since I have quit my job, I have had a few questions from people about whether or not they should quit their job in my opinion regarding their situations. And what I will say is that everybody is different. So my journey is my journey and your journey is yours. I prayed a lot. I debated a lot. I cried a lot before I quit my job and it ended up being the right decision for me. If you're debating doing the same thing, I suggest you definitely weighing the pros and cons, thinking about what other sources of income you can make, building up your savings before you do it and making sure ultimately you will be okay. If you're working in a toxic environment, then I 10 out of 10 recommend that you do either seek other employment or do what you got to do and cut the cord. We grown. You can change your life any day, any moment, any hour, any minute. Now, what I will say is I always tell people if I would have been able to keep my job while I worked on this journey, I definitely would have. If I was able to have a work-life balance that permitted me to truly, genuinely go after my dreams on the side, then I would have taken that route. But that just wasn't applicable for me. So if your place of employment is not a toxic environment, if you're happy there, if it is flexible, if you have enough work-life balance to where you can go home and go hard for your dreams afterwards, then I would definitely recommend that you stay at your job and walk away once your side income can take the place of your full-time job. So that concludes this video. Thank you so much for everybody that's watched. Thank you also for all the people who have subscribed, especially when I haven't been posting. Y'all the truth. Y'all are the truth, okay? I genuinely hope that you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to share more of my journey with you this year. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.